All right, Year 10s, welcome to the lesson today. And what we'll be doing is 8C using formulas. So let's get into it. So the notes are going to be this slide here. So a formula is an equation that relates two or more variables. And we've actually seen several formulas already this year. The more famous one is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. That's Pythagoras' theorem that relates the hypotenuse and the shorter sides of a right angle triangle. Um, and other formulas that you might have heard of, E equals mc squared is the uh, Einstein's theory of relativity. Don't really understand it, but I know that that's a formula. Um, the subject of a formula is the variable that sits on its own on the left hand side of the equation. It can be on the right hand side, but we usually put it on the left hand side. So we call that being the subject. So in this case here, in Einstein's theory of relativity, E is the subject. A variable in a formula can be evaluated by substituting numbers for all other variables. So what we can do is work out what E is if we know what M and C is. A formula can be rearranged to make other variables uh, the subject. So in this case here, we might have M that we want as the unknown. Or in this case here, we did this several times with Pythagoras' theorem. We might have A as the unknown or B as the unknown. All right, so on to an example. So a more famous um, uh, formula is V equals U plus AT. It's used in physics. It doesn't really matter what it's used for. V equals U plus AT. What we want to do is find T when V is 16, U is four, and A is three. So what we'll do, first of all, is make T the subject, because that, that's what we want to find out. We want to find out what T is equal to. So what I'm going to do is isolate t by subtracting u from both sides. So I've got v take away u equals a t. Now what I'm going to do is a is being multiplied by t. So I'm going to divide by a and divide by a. And I've got t is equal to v take away u on a. So t is the subject. More conventionally, we'll put the t on the left and the other stuff on the right. So let's just swap the sides. Okay, now what we're going to do is what's called evaluating um, T because they've told us that V is 16, U is four, and A is three. So we're gonna go T equals V is 16, U is four, and A is three. All right, so 16 take away four is 12 on three, and 12 on three is four. All right, so all we did there was solve for t or make t the subject and then substitute these values in. Now there's a second method to do this if you want, okay, which is if that's our formula, v equals u plus at, what you could do straight away is substitute these values in. So we'll go 16 is v, u is four and a is three. And then do you notice what that looks like? That just looks like a standard two-step equation solve that we've been doing for the last couple of lessons. So we could do take four and take four, which is 12, equals three t, divide by three and divide by three, t is equal to four. So got exactly the same answer using this method here, but it's a good skill to know how to do this stuff here. Now the final thing I wanna show you is how to do this on the calculator. So um, grab your calculators and play along with the video here. So we're going to go uh, home and one for new document and one for add calculator. Now what we're going to do is use the solve feature. So it's menu, uh, algebra, which is three and one is solve. Okay, we're going to type in V equals U plus, and this is really, really important. It's going to be A times T. All right, so you've got to put, when you see two variables together, we've got to put a multiply sign um, in between them. And what we're gonna do is solve that for, or make T the subject. All right, so we hit enter now. And what it does is it gives us the formula with T as the subject, which is what we did um, in this um, part of it here. We made T the subject. 
all right? So what the calculator's got on the screen there is just the equivalent expression here. I know it looks a little bit different. They've, uh, for whatever reason, uh, pulled out the negative and written it a little bit differently, but it's still the same answer. So that's all there is today. So what you're going to do is use those skills, both CAS and um, by hand skills, to go through the bookwork, which I'll link into the Canvas message. Good luck with it, guys.